My name is Ben Thompson and I'm a junior studying geology uh, in the EAPS department at MIT. I chose EAPS as a, my major because I'm really fascinated with geology. I originally came to MIT uh, interested in computer science, but that waned pretty quickly. I had done a lot of programming and such, but I developed a view of it much more as a tool, and now I have like I have a uh, scientific discipline that I can apply that tool to. I have been on one field trip uh, associated with EAPS. I did some field work this January in the Mojave Desert through a class for uh, EAPS majors interested in geology. There were eight of us that were mapping the, the region. There was a little set of hills and mountains and we were mapping the geology. It was a pretty great experience. In terms of a traditional class, I think my structural geology class last fall was the most interesting. It was a lot of practical stuff applied uh, to deformation of rocks, which is a really interesting and astounding phenomenon. I think EAPS is one of the, is a very valuable science these days given various different factors. You know, we have mineral and resource exploration, we have disaster management. It's, it's an important field and it's also really exciting because you get to study these huge systems that have so many different variables and it's, there's so many things to discover. In general, EAPS and geology specifically are both very multidisciplinary. Uh, there's chemistry and physics and biology all involved in, in a single problem sometimes. And you know, you have to have experience with sophisticated modeling and programming techniques. And there's a lot of different skills that are useful. Well, one of the th great things about being an EAPS major is the amount of time that's spent on you. They're, the classes are small enough such that you get to know just about every single professor in your subfield of EAPS. I, I know most of the geology professors at this point. I know a lot of the grad students too. So there are a lot of people that I can go to and learn things about geology and EAPS in general from, and they're great resources. It's a really great community. I think the, the small department lends a sort of family feel to it. There's a community, you know everybody, and it's, it's really easy to talk to people and learn things from them, and it's quite easy to get a research project, depending on what you're interested in. There aren't a lot of other undergraduates to compete with, for example. <laughs> At the moment, I'm thinking that after, after I graduate, I'll go to grad, grad school in geology. But that could change. There, I was, I've also known a number of gra uh, graduates that went and worked for environmental consulting companies doing very interesting things that I might, might like doing for a few years. So this spring I got involved to a minor degree in a project uh, involve, involving field work in Mongolia and this summer I'll be going to Mongolia as a field assistant for a graduate student that's studying a old trapped piece of ocean floor there. There are various chemical problems that need to be solved about how continental crust forms and that specific location ha holds a lot of promise in providing answers. I think EAPS has had a significant impact on my evolution as a young scientist. Uh, in general, EAPS provides a lot of ways to read about and learn about current research and it provides a lot of ways to see how science is done and 
I think I have a much better perspective on what actually happens in a laboratory today and what what science is valuable and what needs to be what needs to be studied I think if, even if I went into some entirely different field I would have a much better starting point because Eeps has given me some breadth of knowledge about science in general and the earth and atmospheric system as well.